Hey, welcome back. Look what I got from sterlingkit.com. This is a pump, a nodding donkey. What's a nodding donkey? It's what's left over from the fossil fuel era. Remember when you used to put gasoline in your car? Well, the oil was extracted by one of these. So it's now a vintage kit. This one's absolutely gorgeous. It comes in a beautiful box. Wow, packaging's great. And a glossy <laughs> brochure. This is what the finished thing is hopefully gonna look like. But look at this. I am so excited. It's kind of, oh, wow. I, could, I think I could probably use this box that they package everything in. Wow, for something else. Oh my God. It's all in a little box. What's this? Oh, hundreds of screws. A little electric motor. Obviously a USB cable. And the metal parts are chunky. You know, they're laser cut, anodized. They're so well made. This is gorgeous. And it's a kit that you build yourself. So how good's that? This must be the base. Oh, look inside. <laughs> There's a syringe and tools. You get tools. This is so cool. Oh, a rechargeable battery. That looks like a USB control board. It's beautifully packaged. Look at the gears, they're super. This must be the uh, motor housing, cast and fantastically finished. Oh, wow, I can't wait to build it. <laughs> So you can get your own from sterlingkit.com with a discount using a code that they've given me called Simon. And I'll give you 10% off one of these beautiful kits or lots of other kits that they make. So I guess breaking all the rules of a good engineer, I'm gonna to have to look at the instruction book, this glossy manual. Oh man. It looks really sophisticated. Real world model in the real world, absolutely. So there's a bit of history about the, uh, the thing that you're building. Oh, so it's called a pumping unit and it's model DM601 if you want your own. And it's made of aluminium, stainless steel, and engineering plastics. It's USB five volt with a 300 milliamp hour battery. Assembly difficulty level two. That might be a bit hard for me. Let's see. Quality level A. Yeah, it really looks it, it's fantastic. So it has crank, a rack crank rocker mechanism, pulley drive mechanism, gear transmission mechanism, and check valve structure. Be sure to read how to build it before you start. Um, okay. Please check the package contains all the items. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look. And so the first thing that you get is a list with a picture of all the items and they've all got part numbers. So I guess if we are um, wondering what the cross beam connection block is, we go, it's part 43. Okay. 
Whoa, there's 89 separate parts. Some of them multiples, including a nylon rope. Wow, okay. Product assembly. Oh, let's get going. Assemble the filter box. Assemble the filter box and waterproof ring. Part number two and part number 85. Okay. I think the first thing I'm going to do is, um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Look, here's part number two. Oh, look. Here's the uh, filter box. And waterproof ring is part number 85. I'm going to have to work out where all these parts are. I wonder if they're in here. They are. So this little box is going to be my go-to box for parts 33 to 88. Let's have a look inside. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh. This must have taken forever to put together. Oh, man, a big spring. Ah, uh, in the factory. Actually, I'm wondering if it's best not to take these foamy bits out and um, just go for what I want. So 85 is in this one. And there is a various bits in 85. I need my tools. I need a pair of tweezers. No, I didn't come with a pair of tweezers. Uh -huh. Comes with a little wrench, a little screwdriver, and three different sizes of Allen keys. So what I'm looking for is part 85, <coughs> which I'm guessing, oh man, the spring's going everywhere, is this one, part 85. The waterproof ring is installed here. Uh, so it's an O-ring that just snaps on. So this is the, <laughs> the basic principle of this amazing kit is you build it up part by part. And um, my first impressions are it's really well made. The parts are, you know, uh, stainless steel, laser cut, very well packaged. The instruction book seems really clear. I like it. Maybe I could start by telling you a bit more about what this kit is and what it is I'm building. This pump is also known as a nodding donkey, and it's a way of extracting crude oil out of the ground after you've drilled a well. You need to pump it out, and you will see these pumps or nodding donkeys all over oil reserves, where there isn't, I guess, pressure forcing the oil up to the surface um, you need to actually pump it out. And they've become an iconic thing in the landscape where oil production takes place. So let's carry on building this nodding donkey. Two, installation of the pumping system. Assemble the check valve sleeve and waterproof ring. So I'll, I'll need number 37, a number 16, and a number 53. The waterproof ring is installed on the end with the hull. I guess I'm going to have to find it. I should imagine it's, is it number 16? Yeah. Oh. It's stuck in there. I'm going to need my screwdriver to get it out. Even the packaging is well made. Oh, here it is. And yeah, one end has, this is beautiful. It's uh, been turned out of solid aluminum, aluminium, and the finish quality is really high. I make things in the lathe and then tell you whoever made that knows what they are doing. So I need a 37 and a 53, which I'll 
go to my handy box and see where they are. A 37 is in this one. And it's a um, O-ring, I'm guessing. Yeah. And it goes on the one with the hole. Um, it goes... It goes on here and it goes between the check valve hole and the body of the uh, pump assembly. Okay, so that's down there and I need to move it down one more notch on this system. Oh, it's kind of fiddly for me, an older gentleman with big fingers. But it's going to work. Ta-da! And a 53. Where do I find a 53? 53 is a different type of... Uh, here it is. I think a pair of tweezers might well be handy, this, because some of the parts are pretty small. So this is a bigger O-ring, and that one goes, I'm guessing, on this side. Now it's a bit easier to put on. Ray, I'm on to part number three. Oh, install the filter box. Oh, this is exciting. I get to... I get to use this now. I guess you have to be quite good at looking at a drawing and then orientating the part. I'm guessing it's that way up. No, maybe not. I'm guessing it's that way up. Yeah, that makes sense. And it looks like the countersunk hole is up. Yeah. And this should be screwed into there. I did an assembly. <laughs> it's going to be quite a big model. Great. I'm going to get two extra tools to make this kit. So bear with me. I'm going to get a magnet on a stick and a pair of tweezers. I'll be right back. <laughs> Well, here they are. <laughs> a pair of tweezers and a magnet. And I need to get the ball valve. I might need number 38 as well. Well, there's number 38. 38 is in this hole. Okay, and what's it look like? No, I'm not sure. I think it's this. Now, that's pretty small. And... A ball. I think I'm going to have to use the uh, magnet. Oh, there's a whole bunch of balls. Okay. <sighs> yeah. So the notch goes down. Yeah, and they say that this is um, a silicon pipe. It genuinely is. This isn't badly made. This is like, you know, you, you could have just given me a plastic pipe, but this is actually silicon rubber, uh, and it will deform greatly over these barbed connections. And I guess I need to... Put it on all the way to the end. Whoever wrote this manual spent a lot of time. So it's now said I've done the check valve sleeve. Yeah. The check valve body. Yeah. The faucet. Yeah. The silicon tube and the small steel ball. Um, yeah, I've played with all of those. Uh, so I guess, it, look, this is another sub-assembly done. The pump now goes up and down on the rope. 
Well done. <laughs> Let me build some parts and then you can see if I get stuck or uh, when I've put a bit more together. So let's go into fast forward mode. <laughs> way now and the model is coming on we've got the base the controller done the motor mounted the gearbox which in fact was a little tricky <laughs> the derrick and the pump is all constructed so let me dive back into these beautifully made but tiny parts and see if I can build the rest of the pump. Ta-da! <laughs> I guess it is built. The Sterling Kit dot com nodding donkey ah that completes the model it comes with a usb charge cable and i think it actually pumps water the other thing is there's lots of spare parts which is great so what's my views on uh, building it I think it's a really great model. So let's have a look at the completed model running. It's a beauty. Internally, there is a rechargeable battery or you can power it from a USB cable. I really like some of the details, such as the three pulleys. And the model actually pumps. Here it is working, and we added black food dye to the watercolor. Get your own Nodding Donkey Pump from sterlingkit.com and use the promo code SIMON for a 10% discount.